good about embodying both academic work, cultural work. It's one person who took poetry to the highest level in Ghana and in Africa and demonstrated that poetry in Africa doesn't need to be poetry as recited in England or in America. He went back to the roots and realized that in Africa, poetry is not simply recited to an audience that is sitting and sleeping and dozing. Poetry is lived, dramatized, sung, and danced to. In Atukwe, you find an embodiment of all aspects of performance, and that is rare. Atukwe comes to the stage, and they say that he's coming to perform a poem, and you sit up, because you are going to hear a chant. You are going to see theater. He puts one of his feet forward, and as soon as I see him, and that's one of the jokes between us, Atuku, let me look at your feet. He always ready, he's pointing in the direction, first direction, combining various languages in Africa and his poetry. Um, and not just that, living it as an individual who is deeply immersed in African culture. Um, with his demise, I don't know any other uh, who has taken after Atuku. I keep mentioning people like Nana Sase, you know, one of those younger generation uh, poets who is combining all the aspects of poetry and making the African tradition of poetry great and making it modern, contemporizing it. So with this departure, I think we have lost a great icon in Africa, in Ghana, um, within the Ghana world as a whole and in Ghana as a whole.